I do believe that the market has an opportunity to backtest one more day, okay? Uh, two reasons why uh, I believe that. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading day. Uh, if you are new here, uh, if you could be so kindly, drop us a like. And if you are new, uh, especially, we advise you, invite you uh, to join this journey, uh, this never-ending journey, uh, journey of fun and excitement. Uh, sarcasm. Uh, as we talk about the stock market with a very, very unbiased view, uh, please subscribe as well. So let's talk about the tape. Um, interesting, uh, interesting scenario. Um, if you go back to January the 16th, right? Excuse me, January the 6th. That was the literally the reversal of this whole rally. Uh, you'll notice there's something uh, pretty clean when you look at uh, this chart. Uh, three out of the 16 days since the low uh, of this bottom channel of the linear regression lines, uh, the, the candle, the Japanese candle uh, closed red, which basically means uh, the close was lower than the open. If you can see here, you can see with your eyes, there's only been one, two, three. That's it, three closes. And we talk about this uh, every single video. Uh, a bear market will not go down uh, every single day. You're going to have reverse trend days. And here where we are on the bullish side of things, once we reclaim the 50-day moving average and also reclaim the 200-day moving average, uh, we say this every day, there's no way the market can continue to go higher and higher, although it felt like that uh, all the way through January. So it's very uh, important to understand that you know anything that's overextended, you kind of want to leave alone, uh, tra take a trade by trade, because what ultimately is going to happen is if you're not conscious and if you are trading with uh, rose-colored glasses, you're going to get pulled. Um, if you look at the action today, it was actually pretty good. Uh, the value on any type of days that are reverse trend days, I'm always, you know, if it's a bull scenario, so you know, like we are on right now, I always like the bounce uh, bounce plays. Uh, we had several, you know, pretty aggressive uh, bounce plays today. Uh, Tesla was an absolute gift, uh, going uh, red to green, uh, even on the bottom channel today. That really had a great, great spike. Uh, continuation of its, uh, you know, its earnings, uh, earnings move had a really nice uh, rest today towards the end of the day, which is absolutely great. Uh, when you look at a name like Nvidia that had this really, really great run, okay, just got in a little bit of tired. Even uh, Apple, who, who, who's not been leading the market, but you can see how much strength the Apple. Had. Apple literally had two days, two days since January the 16th. Uh, that you know played out as red candles again lower closes than open uh through day and that's that's good that's exactly what a bull market is uh you need digestion you need days that the market kind of rests uh get its feet underneath them take a breath and kind of you know trying to trying to digest the recent moves for the next like higher i do believe um i do believe that the market has an opportunity to back test one more day okay uh two reasons why uh, I believe so. I think uh, obviously the overall trend is still higher. I still believe the market goes higher. When do I don't believe the market will go higher? If we lose back the 50 day moving average, then you can rip out your buy button. But until then, this whole trend is very uh, is very status quo. And you can see here, even this this bar, right? This gas uh, gassed out bar followed by one more gap down. So we have a, kind of a little bit of a gassed out bar here and I'll explain uh, in a second what this means. But more important is um, the reason why I think we might have one more day, potential one more day of uh, a back test is uh, Wednesday is uh, FOMC, right? Uh, Powell is speaking. Uh, there is, you know, uh, you know, there is scenario of a 25 uh, base point hike. Uh, there's also obviously the interest for all traders and investors uh, is what's going to happen next. What's their contingency plan? Again, from one side of their mouth, they're talking about uh, inflation is still here. Everything is still crappy. Uh, we might be raising rates till, you know, middle of 2024, end of 2024. And then you'll have uh, somebody like Waller come out and say, well, wait a minute. I think everything is starting to get under control. I think we have uh, now a contingency plan when uh, these hikes can stop. So again, we'll see. We, we, you know, I think the market is going to need a little bit of language 
uh, to kind of see what happens. But I, I could definitely see a scenario that if potentially we do have uh, one more day of back tests, if the Qs confirm the five day moving average, you can see here we close right at the five day. Uh, so if the few Qs can confirm the five day tomorrow to the downside, yeah, I think there's a trade there and that's all it is, okay? I'm not looking for, uh, I'm not looking for, you know, we're going back to the lows, this, that, the other thing, it's just a trade. I I'm looking for cash flow moves. Uh, and if you, for all you guys who are uh, in, in the AAT community, you'll notice I have majority of, uh, I would say, I think uh, majority of the names uh, going to the downside tomorrow just because of this close, right? Just because of this first close below the previous day's range and we have one more day of potentially digestion, people sitting on the sidelines, uh, you know, seeing exactly what Powell's gonna say uh, come Wednesday afternoon. So that's pretty much it. Sometimes you don't need a lot of language, a lot of data to kind of give you an idea of what's going to happen for tomorrow. If you go through, uh, if you go through your names today, and again, I'm, I'm I trade primarily, you know, 90, 95 percent of the same 10 stocks. But if you go through the Nasdaq 100 tonight, you'll see a common theme. You'll see stocks that are trading uh, either below the previous day's low that need to be confirmed tomorrow, or stopping just above yesterday's low that obviously need to confirm tomorrow. So if you look at the queues, and I'm going to share this price with you. Keep an eye on the cues. This, you see this uh, 289 level, excuse me, this 289.80s level, right? That's the five day rising support. Cues start losing this two, uh, 288.90s. In other words, if they gap up, right? If they gap up and start losing today's channels, um, you know, we, we could get another pull, you know, maybe a pull to uh, 287, right? 287, maybe if it gets one more day of extension, maybe 286, right, right? Very possible. But again, all this is, I'm just getting prepared for both sides of the market. You know, if we do rally, start reclaiming, um, you know, yesterday's channels, I'll be interested, obviously, to the long side, but I, I could definitely see a scenario of uh, the bulls and the bears kind of just kind of resetting um, and, you know, taking advantage of potential uh, some intermediate short term channels to the downside uh, for some cash flow. And if you see uh, if you if, if you are looking for ideas, again, look at the stocks that are, you know, had the biggest runs. Right. We talked about it on NVIDIA. Right. Had a great run. Again, the videos, you know, same thing, three down days since January the, you know, January the 6th. I mean, that's, that's kind of replicating. But you can see here, NVIDIA is taking down two days uh, worth of price action. So if NVIDIA confirms, again, maybe it's, you know, maybe there's a move to the 10-day to the moving average. Tesla is an absolute monster. Would it, would it shock me that it, can, it, it continues tomorrow? No, it would not shock me. It's been an absolute godsend today. Uh, we've had uh, several, uh, several, you know, really good bounce plays uh, today. Uh, but the point is, you know, not everything goes up. It's, it's pure gravity. And, you know, they, they're, they are coming for the end of the week. Uh, they, were, they were bidding, you know, they were coming for the 82 and a half uh, and the 200 calls. Look, if Tesla starts losing the bottom channel here, yeah, I'm definitely interested for potential uh, move back to the five day moving average. Again, just to get some cash flow. Uh, we are just putting ourselves in a position. We know the market had a big run, a ridiculous run. I think, I think the NASDAQ is up what, 10, 9, 10%, 11% uh, going into the final day tomorrow. Just an, an absolute uh, epic run uh, by the Bulls. So this is a really good uh, warranted, right? Warranted rest, reset, whatever the hell, you know, whatever the hell you want to call it. But at the same time, we're not going to sit there and wait for, uh, you know, the channels to set up back to the upside. Again, that's the whole point of taking a day-by-day, trade-by-trade based on the previous night's, uh, based on the previous night's research. And my, you know, again, my research is telling me, hey, if we, if we confirm one more days of channels on all these high flying stocks, yeah, there will be an opportunity. So in a perfect world, right? In a perfect world, um, if we are going to have one more day of downside action, right? Some back testing option, the optimum thing that would happen tomorrow is obviously a gap up, right? Because if you have a gap up and you put in a lower high and get stuffed into 60 minutes supply, well, what is gonna happen, right? It's gonna probably take out the previous day's lows, which is today's channels. And if that happens, that's when I believe uh, we can get our value. So that's it. I mean, that's it. You know, certain days you have to sit there. Uh, you have to sit there and dissect uh, 12 million things. We know two things. The market had a phenomenal run. Tomorrow's the last day of the month. So a lot of traders are probably even going to be taking off. It is the day, day and a half 
ahead of Powell. So a lot of traders will be waiting to see uh, what Powell says, what the, what the Fed says, and what the language, at least the contingency plan going forward. Some days you have to be, uh, you have to go through data with a fine tooth cone. Uh, other times you have to just look things from a simplicity point of view and say, hey, the market's tired. There's a really good chance that if we do confirm today's channels back to the downside, obviously a good reversal day uh, today from the exhaustion channel from Friday. And if DAS does confirm, we could just take advantage of the downside. So again, be prepared on both sides of the market and let's see which way, way the wind blows and let's see how much value uh, we can get on both up and the downward side. Guys, have a great night. God bless. Some days you have to get aggressive. Some days you have to get passive, but that's the key. Stay in business so you can have those days. Guys, God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow.